What's up, everybody? Welcome back to the Stream Loots YouTube channel where we talk about everything streaming and Stream Loots. And in today's video, I'm going to be talking to you guys about one of my favorite tech upgrades that I ever made to my stream setup, and that is the Elgato Stream Deck. Now, if you've been streaming for any amount of time, you've probably heard the name Elgato because they make incredible products to make the live streaming job a lot easier. And the Stream Deck does just that. I've been using the Stream Deck for almost two years now, and I'm still amazed at what this piece of tech is capable of doing. The Elgato Stream Deck unlocks a huge amount of possibilities for the streamer, and it's basically a number and macro pad that is uh, assignable to various actions that makes your job a lot easier when you're trying to multitask, game, and stream at the same time. The Stream Deck that I'm using is their 15 button version, and this comes in at about $150, but they have two other options. They have the mini six button version and then also the extra large 32 button version and these can actually be used in tandem with one another you can uh, use multiple stream decks simultaneously it simply plugs into the usb ports on your pc and you're good to go in today's video i'm going to take you through how to download and install the software for the stream deck i'm going to show you how to connect your accounts to it and then i'm going to take you through some of my favorite ways to use this awesome piece of equipment with that being said Let's get into it. To begin, we're going to go to the Elgato website, which is elgato.com forward slash en. And then we're going to click on the download section to find our software. You're going to select the operating system that you're using, whether it's Mac or Windows. For me, it's Windows. You're going to click the download for the Stream Deck right here. And after you've done that, you'll be able to go through a setup wizard, which will help install it on your computer. All right, now that we've opened up the Stream Deck software, we're gonna see essentially a blank canvas of each of the buttons on the Stream Deck. And I've actually set up a camera here so that we can see real time uh, what happens to these buttons as we add actions uh, to the Stream Deck. To get full functionality out of the Stream Deck, we need to create a profile and add the accounts that we want the Stream Deck to interact with. So to create a profile, you'll go up to the top left here click new profile and it'll likely give you a profile one like I have here after that we can connect the accounts that we want our profile to interact with by clicking accounts here I've already added my mixer account um, but you can add various accounts here for example Streamlabs, twitch Twitter and YouTube now going back to the profiles you can actually have multiple profiles that have different layouts that you can easily swap back and forth between uh, in the software so for example if you want to record static video for YouTube um, you might want to have a different set of buttons and assignments to that layout versus when you're streaming for example ultimately the options are endless so you want to make it make sense for what you're doing before we get into adding actions on the stream deck let's look at some of the integrations that are available to us uh, right out of the gate so for me I have the stream deck integrations here at the top and this has a variety of actions that we can perform and then uh, you can also have the Stream Deck interact with the Elgato Game Capture software. Um, for me, I use this a lot. This is the, El uh, the Elgato's integration with OBS Studio because this is the software that I use to stream. If you use Streamlabs OBS, that's available as well as XSplit. Um, I also have the option for the Stream Deck to interact with my Mixer account in various ways. There's a soundboard interaction where you can add actions that will cue a sound when you push the button. You can interact with your Streamlabs account, uh, your computer. There's a variety of actions with that. Um, your social media accounts, your YouTube. And ultimately, at the bottom, you can add other actions that you want to have available to you. And there's a ton of different plugins that you can integrate simply by installing them here. All right, now that we've gotten that out of the way, let's get into the fun part, which is adding actions to our Stream Deck. So I'm going to take you through some of the things that I do to help raise the production value of my stream, um, some of my favorite actions. And uh, one of the things that I really like to do is to do scene change buttons. So um, I go from my gameplay scene or a scene like this to a logo video that's a media video to an intermission scene. And so... For example, what I would do for that is I would add three different buttons that are all scene changes. And this is again in OBS Studio. This is gonna pull the scene list from OBS and allow me to select uh, whatever scene I want for each button. So for the middle button, I'm gonna use my transition video. And that 
scene is right here. So it's going inter to interact with this particular scene. So I've selected that scene. I'm going to call it transition. And you're going to see it's going to pop up right here. And just so you know, you can actually change the background image that you see right here um, by selecting an image from your PC. If you have a PNG file you want to add, uh, you can select it right here. And then on the left button here, I'm going to uh, select my main gameplay scene, uh, this one right there. And I'm going to call this uh, main. And then I'm going to select my intermission scene right here. And so what this is going to do is it's going to allow me to use these buttons right here um, to transition to each scene um, on cue by using these buttons. So when I click this button, you're going to see um, my main gameplay which is right here. And then when I maybe finish a game or I die in a game, I'm gonna use my uh, my transition button. And you're gonna see that it cues my video transition scene. And then once uh, the video transition scene has run its course, I'm gonna switch back to my intermission scene right there. And this is where people, this is where my viewers land uh, when uh, I'm not in game. So pretty cool. It's an awesome feature to be able to do scene swapping uh, that integrates right with your streaming software. Um, and I highly recommend utilizing the buttons to do that um, to, to really raise the production value of what you do. One of my favorite ways to use my stream deck is by creating an entire soundboard that integrates with each of the buttons. So if I want to do that, I go to the soundboard integration here. Uh, add it to a button. I can call that uh, that soundbite whatever I want. I can search for an mp3 file that I've uploaded to my PC um, and then I can add it. And for the sake of time, I'll show you my soundboard that I have on my other profile to give you an example of what you can do with this. So on my default profile, um, I can click my OBS folder and then click my soundboard folder here. And I have 15 buttons that are all assigned to different sound bites. So when somebody enters the chat and I want to have a fun greeting for them, I'll click my saw dude uh, button here. I saw it, dude. Saw it, dude. <laughs> or if I get a victory in my battle royale game, I'm going to click this button here. Jordan phase back, swoosh, and that's the game! Or if I have a nice kill in a game, I'm going to use this button here. Boom. Roasted. Right, so these are all sound files that I've attached to each of these buttons um, within a folder. So you could have multiple folders with multiple sound bites uh, on your Stream Deck. One of my favorite ways to use uh, the soundboard integration. A few of the other ways that I love to use the Stream Deck is by interacting with my Mixer platform. So I can actually add a chat message button where when I push this button, it'll run a chat message uh, in my chat real time. And you can type the message here. For example, if you want to tell people how much you love them, you can do that here. Uh, give it a name, ILU for I love you. And when you push that button, that message is going to pop up in your chat. This is great if you have commands that you want to run. You could uh, you could create a whole folder of all of your commands um, that are similar to what your moderators might use. So that way you can answer questions a lot quicker. Uh, than having to type it all out for your chat. Another really cool option is the interaction with your social media profile. So for example, with Twitter, let's say you wanna tell people when you're live, um, you can actually type a pre-composed uh, tweet that when you push this button, it sends that tweet out to your Twitter profile. Pretty cool. Now we've barely scratched the surface of what the Stream Deck is capable of, but I hope by seeing just a few of the things that you can do with it, um, you can get a sense of how incredible this uh, piece of tech is in upgrading the production value of your stream. I highly recommend picking one up and utilizing it to make your job a lot easier. That's it for this video, you guys. If you liked this video, please let us know by giving us a thumbs up. And if you have any questions or comments or things you want to know more about specifically with the Stream Deck, please let us know in the comment section below. And as always, don't forget to subscribe to the YouTube channel by clicking that subscribe button and turning your alerts on so you don't miss out on the future content that we have coming out. Thanks again, you guys, and we'll see you in the next video.